breathe. Please, the knee in my dick. I can't breathe shit. You gonna let him kill that man in front of you, bro? Huh? Huh? Like, what? Bro, he's not even fucking moving right now, bro. I can't breathe. Shut up. They will kill me. They will kill me, man. Bro, with your feet on his neck, man, you get out the His nose is bleeding. Like, come on. That's wrong right there. They will put him in the car. They will kill me. How long y'all gotta hold him down? Why would you do drugs, kids? It ain't about drugs, bro. You understand that? Y'all don't gotta put y'all in there, bro. Right. You could have fucking put him in the car he's by now, bro. He's not now. resisting arrest or nothing. Happy now? You enjoying it? Look at you. Your body language explains it. You fucking bum. Officers were able to get the suspect in. Peace, love, and harmony, family, man. I, it makes me sad that I have to do this video because you guys know I'm a happy person. I love sharing, but I just I really can't believe that the, the the ignorance that's going on right now in this world. We already have our, you know, Eric Garner's, our Sandra Bland's, and so many other people that we don't know about that's being killed. But now, for this to come out of Minneapolis, are you kidding me? I don't curse on my podcast, and I really try my best not to, but what in the entire hell is going on? That's the most that I'm going to try my best to use and keep it PG for the kids to watch, too. Because we really need to understand as a people what this is and what this means. We have a man who was handcuffed, laying on his stomach. This black man is handcuffed laying on his stomach. What threat do you pose laying on your stomach to somebody? I'm not afraid of somebody laying on their stomach. Now, when you get up, I'm worried. How can he get up when you have your whole entire knee in his neck? You have your whole knee on his neck while other officers are standing around watching. You hear just like I hear, just like we just heard on the clip. He's telling you he can't breathe. This is not a joke. It's not funny. He's not doing it so he can get up and attack you guys. The man is handcuffed. How? How are you so afraid for your life that you feel like you have to put your entire knee in this man's throat and kill him in front of people? And the worst part about it, the part that really brought tears to my eyes, people, is the fact that this, this was recorded by black people around him. Shame on us. Shame on us, period. So for us to see this black man handcuffed on his stomach and keep our phones out and try to tell the officers, oh, you guys should stop. He's telling you he can't breathe. I even heard one brother in there say, well, look at your body language. You like it. You like it? I'm sorry, but I couldn't have been there. You're going to have to shoot me or something. I'm starting to wave. It's like all those people there that were recording that black man who, are, who were black and y'all didn't do nothing. It's two of them and 40 of y'all. Y'all just going to let them kill him in front of you? Oh, but let me guess. It doesn't matter, right? It's not your brother. It's not somebody you know. It's not your uncle. It's not your cousin. It's not any of that. This is just some, some black man. Oh, well, he probably deserved it. He probably looked like he was on drugs. Whatever the media is, you're going to justify the reason behind it. There is no reason behind it, period, point blank. Do you think that if a black cop would have had his knee on a white man's neck that's handcuffed and on his stomach that he would have got paid leave? Where do they do that at? Nowhere in America because in America it's legal to kill black people. And they'll do, they're doing it in front of us because they know that we're afraid. They know that we're not going to come together. The only sense of community we have is to our family, to our blood family. If we didn't know, grow, if we didn't grow up with Pookie and them, we don't care about Pookie and them. Pookie and them. I'm trying to tell you, man. It's 2020, man. We need to start caring about Pookie and them. We need to start caring about Linda on the block. We need to start caring about everybody who is, who is victims to this racial profiling in this cr corrupt criminal justice world we live in. It's time that we start thinking for ourselves start taking the knowledge back people start really understanding that that we are at war out here and we are ill we are not prepared it, we are thinking illogical we are insane doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result we've been doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result there is not going to be a different result they're, they're showing us this in our faces in our faces they're telling us we can kill black people right in front of you you're not going to do anything and I agree with the brother in the, the video. Look at his body language. You're absolutely right. Look at his body language. He does look like he's enjoying it. Why wouldn't he be? He's committing murder in daylight in front of you. He's killing your brother. That's somebody's uncle, cousin, brother, best friend, confidant. Whatever he was to somebody, that is a human life. And he's a black man at that. This, would, this doesn't happen to other races. What other race have you seen that got, that is killed in front of you and you record it? talking about oh he was pronounced dead later at the hospital we just watched him die right in front of us on the street but they were worried about there being an uprising no y'all weren't 
there was obviously not going to be no uprising because all of those people that were standing around recording it what were they were recording it they're not mad they're not that mad they're not mad enough to put down their phones and actually take action and do something to help this man out think about if that was your mom or your dad or your brother on the street and all these people is over there just recording and not doing nothing not saying anything that's all they're doing is just recording come on man Somebody should have tackled him, got him off of him. I don't care, I would have took the bullet for that young man because if that means that I'm making a statement and I'm standing up for my community, then so be it. That's what I'm going to do every single time. Instead of pulling out our phones, yes, it's fine. We need to record it for judicial purposes, but we all know how this is gonna play out. He's already on a paid leave. Charges, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, when I'm posting this video right now, there are no charges that are brought up. I don't know if charges will come up later, and I'll definitely make another video about that later. But as far as I'm concerned, there's no charges. He's, he's at home, paid, having fun with his wife and kids, enjoying himself while that man can't go home. His family is mourning him. And he's still living? Are you kidding me? Man, all I could think about is this was my brother that I was watching this video. This was my brother. And he was dead like this, and that man is out? No, ain't no way in the world. Look, you, I, look. Ain't no way in the world you're going to hurt somebody that, that's mine, that's me, of me, bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh, and I'm just going to be okay with it. And when I say bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh, of course, I also mean my community. We are all one and the same. We all in this fight together. All of us. No matter how much who got the clout and who got the most views and who get this and who get that, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you're still going to be a nigga to them, period. That's what we are. That's what we are, and that's what it's going to be. It's not going to change. It's not going to change unless we make them change it. How do we make them change it? Man, make sure you guys go over to Harmony Politics and subscribe, harmonypolitics.com. You can check me out on YouTube. I go, I go by the name of Be Harmony. I definitely have ways and I have a lot of knowledge inside of me to help our people live an uprighteous life because this type of stuff that I'm seeing right now, that clip that you guys just saw, that's never going to be okay. It's never going to fly and we need to do something about it. Head over to harmonypolitics.com and subscribe with your email. All consultations are free. We need to start our own businesses. We need to we need to do our own and be police in our own neighborhood. It's time to get back to our Black Panther days. Huey Newton. Huey Newton, man, just it's time, y'all. It's time. Community over everything. And in this Minneapolis thing, I cannot, I just I cannot understand how people were recording this man being killed in front of you. It's literally you watched this man take his last breath and nothing was done nothing man my people we got to do better we really have to do better because if we don't do better who's gonna do it it's only gonna get worse from here right i've been seeing stuff on comments on youtube and facebook oh this is modern day slavery and modern day lynching this is not modern day lynching this is the new lynching it's not modern day it's not it's lynching 2.0 no this is the new lynching period there's no extension of the old lynching they found a new way to do it except for now the the slave catchers they're called police officers Come on, man. Y'all better wake up, man. This is, this is the same system, just a new form. This is modernized. This, that's all it is, man. We got to wake up, my people. Please wake up. And if you don't know no better and you can't do no better, come over to Harmony Politics and I'll definitely help you. Like, subscribe, and comment and share this video. Thank you, guys. Peace.